your choice. You could quit anytime you want to. That's always an option. And what he's after is to get you to quit. What I'm talking to you about right now I don't have nothing to do with no church. It has nothing to do with no group. It has nothing to do with being popular. It has to do with your life. You've been called for something different. You're not called for Bible studies and three points in a hoop. You are in a war. The enemy is consistently trying to discourage you. If you can hear me, say amen. amen. The, the spirit of discouragement against your life is, is greater, I guess, in this moment than you've ever seen. Am I talking to anybody here? He is trying to discourage you because you represent a threat. You are the new, the new church that God is producing. You're, you're a church of believers, people who make a choice to believe God. Not trying to please him, just believe him. Yes. When you pray, you've got to get to the point where you stand fast in your prayer. If you can hear me, please say amen. amen. Listen, when you pray, when you go to pray, if you're in this warfare, it's, you're going to have resistance. And I learned something. Don't grow up and get too mature that you get into these cutie prayers. Listen to me now. Hear me. Because I, I, I had an experience at my house last night. And I had to go to praying just so my house could sleep. You, 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 you don't forget the power of the blood. Don't forget to please. See, we don't got trouble. We got promises. We got all that kind of stuff. And we don't forget to please the blood. We don't forget to draw the blood. We don't forget to cry out to God. We don't forget that kind of stuff. We, 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 we too mature now. We important now. We can pray. We know scriptures and all that stuff. Some of them devils ain't responding to nothing but the blood. Amen. I'm telling you what I know. Some of that stuff that's going on, you you have to say, you have to plead the blood over your children. Amen. You have to plead the blood over your finance. Amen. Plead the blood over your bed. You plead the blood over your house. You have to plead the blood over your bank account. You plead the blood over your relationship. You have to plead the blood over your... God, let me preach this right now. You, 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 sometimes, you know, you got to go back to fervent effects of prayer. You know, walking around, speaking in tongues, and declaring, that's great stuff. But then you're in real warfare. You got to know how to plead the blood. I, the blood of Jesus on my wife. The blood of Jesus on my child. The blood of Jesus on my dad. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Oh, God, I don't we got, we see, we don't really got too fancy now. We don't forget about the blood. We don't forget about the power that makes us go. But the enemy is going to respond to that blood. When you go home and get going to the children room, plead the blood of Jesus. I knock them beds down. And they get to some oh, come on, we, we don't got too fancy. We don't forget about walking. Get your bottle of oil and start anointing stuff all over the house. Anoint every door. I say, devil, you're a liar. You will not have my child. You will not have Last night you saw what we was going through at home and 
I, let, I went on the bed and got to pray. And about 45 minutes into that prayer, I remember that clip. Oh, Sandra, glory to God. I remember that clip. And I began to plead the blood of Jesus. And, and I began to call on the blood. And I began to draw the blood. All of a sudden, stuff started in the room. Doors started opening. Door, oh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Y'all ain't ready for this kind of stuff. You see, that kind of stuff will scare you if you don't know who you are. Somebody say amen. But, but, yeah, if you don't know who you are, it's scary, yeah. You would get scared because what, what, the, what the enemy wanted me to do was turn my head from my prayer to see who was coming through the door. But I knew somebody was going out the door and not coming into the door. I'm going to give God praise to all my stuff. Glory to You can't get too fancy. Don't forget who you are and where you come from. Yes, sir. The foundation of who you are is the blood of Jesus. Yes. Amen. You sick, the blood of Jesus. You frustrated, the blood of Jesus. You angry, the blood of Jesus. They coming against you, the blood of Jesus. When you can't find the right thing to put, put the blood. Everything is in the blood. Plead the blood against the court system. Plead the blood against the system. Plead, plead the blood. You go, glory to God. You have the blood. That's the most powerful force in the universe. The blood of Jesus. Oh, shut up. Lord, I don't get this idea. The blood of Jesus. I begin to plead the blood in my house 4 o'clock this morning. And all of a sudden, in the room I was in, all kind of stuff started moving, and the door opened, and, and I just got to praying. Then, see, I was get scared or pray. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do both. Somebody say, "Amen." I was either get scared or pray. So I started pleading the blood on my wife and the blood on my daughter. You can't bother them. I got them covered. Amen. So, so, what, how did I get on this subject here tonight? So don't 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 forget where your strength is. All this stuff that's coming up against you, put the blood on it. When you desperate and feel hopeless and seem like everything is lost, put the blood on it. Put the blood on them finances. Put the blood on that court case. I was talking to someone of my members today, telling me some things going on. I said, put the blood on it. I said, you have two months to believe. Oh, Yo, y'all don't hear what I'm saying? Sometimes God will set you up to use faith. Oh, shut up. He'll put you in situations to use faith. I got to get out of here because I feel like preaching. But you have to understand that you have this. You have this at your discretion. Amen. I, I, what, what, what was I heard? Uh, um, if you have some money in the bank, you know you put money in the bank. You know you put your you put your money in the bank, right? Hey, well, some of y'all, amen. <laughs> y'all ain't giving tithe. I know you ain't got no money in the bank. So, 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 <laughs> so, <laughs> you put your money in the bank. And you go to the bank, and the teller tells you, you can't get your money. You know it's in there. You know you put it in there. The teller giving you all these reasons why you can't get your money. Are you going to turn around and walk out the door? No. You can say, go call the manager, and then call his boss, and then call the main office, and then call their boss, and then call who started chain. Call everybody, because I know you don't hear what I'm saying. And call their boy, not his mama too. Call her too, just to make sure that I have my money up in here, and I ain't leaving here till I get my money out. Well, if you have this inheritance, you have this blood, because the enemy come up against you. The first time that looks back, you can just turn and walk away, or you can stand the devil. You are a doggone liar. If you can have my child, if you can have my marriage, if you can have my home, if you can have my relationship, I know what I have in Christ, and I'm not going oh, come on. I know what God promised me. And you can't have it. So just because you tell me it looks like no right now, I'm not going to turn around and walk away when I know that I have a promise. I'm not going to walk away from this. I may have to fight with the manager and her husband and everybody else, but I, I'm, going, I'm not going to leave here till I get what's Oh, this is too great. This is too great. Be not slothful. You're in a war. Be fathers of them who do faith and patience. Inherit the promise. Don't just walk away from your promise because somebody said no. That person ain't that high on the, on the totem pole. Just because somebody didn't support you or somebody didn't do what you yeah. expect them to do, don't walk away from your promise and start speaking against it. Give God glory because you know that's your promise. Amen. And let the Lord know I ain't leaving until I get it. Amen. I'm going to have it before I leave this earth. Amen. So just because they fail me, don't mean you fail me. Because my money in this bank. Y'all may put it in somebody's wrong account, but it's in the bank. And if I start cussing enough, y'all go look for it. Somebody say amen. amen. <laughs> if you need the money in the bank, any time to pray right then, you're like, I need my money. I prayed before I got here. So, so, if you believe that you have this promise, then why 
how you walk away at the first disappointment. Right. Good. Good. Don't I challenge you every time you come to church? Good. If you believe God, mm. see, I was thinking about something today, and I'm done. I, 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 I'm very out of time, so y'all don't, 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 don't panic. You know what we do? Like my family is a great family. We, we church people. Yes, sir. Yeah, we church people. But every time my family gets together, let me show you how serious I am about what I'm talking about. So you have the seeds we are. People who really love God. Right. Or at least we think we love Him based on what we've been told. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Every time my family gets together, we go for Christmas. It's always this session in our gathering where all the young people get together yeah. and make mockery of the church. <laughs> They, they make mockery, particularly of the prophets. Wow. They get together and do stuff like, you over there in the yellow. I see you, I see you. Know, they, you know how the prophets say it? I see, I see you, you, you over there in the blue. Come here, come here. And listen, and they're making mockery, and they're falling out, and they're dancing. And they got all the movements. Baby, am I right about it? They have all the movements of the prophets. They don't, you should see them dance like me. They make mockery of me, too. I, I'm not exempt. <laughs> But, 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 but here's the deal, though. This is where, this is where I'm going to get into your, into your mixed spirit right now and make you mad. Here's the deal. If you really believe in prophecy, if you really believe the prophet had a word of your word in your life in his mouth, if you really believe it now, because the fact that you make it mark me means you didn't believe it. If you really believe it, see, when you go to the doctor,